Harley, you be a good boy, okay? You promise? Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be doing a super exciting video as per usual. I mean, one of my videos is not exciting. No, I'm totally just kidding, but today I'm going to be doing another MAC haul. And I know you're probably like, Jessica, you just did a MAC haul like two videos ago. And I know I am going MAC crazy right now. Like it is so bad on my wallet. My wallet is crying and it's just really a terrible and sad moment. Anyways, I spent a lot of money and a lot of time on the Mac website and a lot of time on um, like bloggers and a whole bunch of video or videos, a whole bunch of websites with people doing reviews on Mac products. Like I'm literally just going Mac crazy. So I want to show you guys things that I picked up when I was in the States last week. And also I bought two things from the Archie collection. So I wanted to show you guys that as well. So we'll start off with a couple things that I got from the Archie collection. I wasn't really crazy about the, um, the collection. There was a few things that I liked. I really did like one of the red and the pink lipsticks, but the red lipstick looked too similar to Russian red, which I already own. And then the pink lipstick actually was sold out at the MAC counter that I went to, or the MAC store, I guess. So I was interested in those. A couple of lip glosses were nice, but eh. They'll, I don't know, they weren't like unique enough for me. Um, but anyways, I did pick up two things. I got a blush. The packaging is so cute, guys. Like, I can't... I don't even like Archie. Like, I don't even... I didn't even read the comics or anything, but this is so cute. Like, I love the packaging so much. Um, anyways, I purchased the... Betty blush and this is in cream soda. This is just really a perfect blush for me. It's totally up my alley. You can see that it's a really pretty um, pink cream sort of shade. Um, it's just really up my alley. It's perfect. I absolutely loving or I'm absolutely loving it. I'm wearing it today. I just I don't know. I really like it. It's got minimal shimmer in it. Um, and it's just really, really pretty. It's a satin finish, so it's nice and pigmented, and I just love it. The next it. thing that I got from the Archie collection came in this big old box right here, so you probably know what it is. Um, again, cutest packaging ever. And I got the brush set. It comes in a really cute tin like this, and when you open it up, it just has all the brushes inside. I... Oh, I don't know. I don't want to say I'm disappointed in these brushes, but like I asked a girl, I'm like, is it the same quality? She's like, oh yeah, yeah, totally the same quality. I'm like, okay, so I bought it. It is not the same quality as the MAC brushes. I can almost guarantee. Um, that being said, I mean, they're not horrible. They're just not like overly soft or anything. So I don't honestly know if I'm going to keep this brush kit. Um, I'll have to kind of test it out for a couple days and then see. But it comes with the MAC 168 the 167 which is like the powder brush it comes with the what is this the 242 the concealer comes with the 226 which is just like a crease brush which I feel like this is the nicest out of all of them and then it comes with the 266 which is like an angle eyeshadow or um, eyebrow or liner brush so it comes with a good range of brushes um yeah, so I don't know. I'm going to play with these for a couple of days and then see. And if I'm not really liking them, I just may return them. So the next things that I'm going to show you are things that I actually picked up from a Mac store while I was in the States. Harley, don't cry. Um, I purchased the Mineralized Mac Skin Fin... Why do I always say Mac? Like, as if. Obviously, you guys know this is a Mac haul. Um, it is the Mineralized Skin Finish, and I purchased it in Light Plus. Light Plus is a little bit more yellowy than just the light. Next thing I'll show you guys is blushes. I purchased three. The first one I purchased is Melba. It's a really gorgeous light pink color. Um, sorry, Harley wants me to keep throwing his ball. It is a really gorgeous light pink color. It's really nice on my skin tone. I don't like blushes that are too bright or too pink. Um, and I just really, really like this one. It looks great on. And then I also purchased Tenderling, which is kind of like a lighter version of Melba in a way. It's a really, really light rosy pink. Um, again, this is just a really, really flattering blush on me. I just love it. It gives you color without being like, bam, too much. 
And then I also picked up Gingerly, which I wanted this in the beginning. And I, um, sorry, he keeps wanting me to throw his ball. I picked this, or what am I talking about? I wanted this in the beginning, the first time that I went to MAC. I was going to pick this blush up, and when I went in, like I had my heart set on it, and when I went in, I swatched it, and I was like, it looks way too orange for my skin tone, so I didn't pick it up, and then I got home and regretted it instantly after because I could not stop thinking about it. So I just decided that I'm going to pick it up anyways. If I don't like it, I could always return it, or I could, you know, give it away, I could do something, um, but I'm absolutely loving it, so I'm really, really happy that I picked it up. Next two things I'll talk about are lipsticks. Um, I was so excited to pick these up. I did a lot of research on these lipsticks and just decided that I would pick them up, and I am so glad that I did. The first one is Impassioned. Um, it is an Amplified. It is so gorgeous. And then I also purchased Candy Yum Yum, which is like a perfect Barbie hot pink. Um, again, this is so gorgeous. I wore this with More to Love lip liner and it was stunning. It literally lasted me 12 hours. Like I couldn't believe it. I ate and didn't even need to touch it up. Like it stays on so, so well. So I have six more things to show you and they're all eyeshadows. I went a little bit eyeshadow crazy. The first one, um, also I want to thank Jacqueline, um, Jacqueline Hill one. I'll put her link down below if you guys have not checked her. She's freaking amazing. She's definitely like my like top five favorite guru for sure on YouTube. I absolutely love her and I can thank her for pretty much every MAC purchase that I've bought. She just puts it in her video and I'm like, oh my god, I need to have that. So all of these eyeshadows, she's definitely featured in her tutorials at least once. Um, the first one actually, and most of them, like all there's like four or five. Four, I think, that she puts in like every single one of her videos. So I was like, I need those. Um, anyways, the first one is Swish Chocolate. This is a really pretty warm chocolatey brown. It's over, like it's super, super pigmented and it's a matte. So I love that. And again, she shows it in her video all the time. And then um, I purchased Texture as well, which she does a lot of talking about too. Again, it's a warm kind of... Um, kind of like coppery brownish. Um, it's got a little bit of sparkle and it's really pretty. And this is a velvet. It's so creamy and just like glides on your eyelids. It's amazing. And then I purchased Soft Brown, which if you watch her videos, you know that she puts this in her crease in every single one of her videos. So I was like, I need that. And I'm loving it. Again, it's just a really pretty warm transitional brown and it's a matte. And then I picked, oh, can talk. And then I purchased Rule, which I saw in one of her videos. That is why I purchased it. I would never purchase this, just like looking at the eyeshadows. It is a bright orange. I love it. It looks so good when you blend it out in the crease with those other three colors that I've showed you. It's just gorgeous. So I love that. And this is a matte. And then the next one, actually, I don't think she's talked about this on her YouTube channel before. But it is plumage. It is a matte as well. It's so gorgeous. I'm wearing it today. It is such a unique color. It's like a um, greeny blue perfection in a little pot. I don't know. It's amazing. The last one here that I want to show you guys is Samoa Silk. Again, purchased because of Jacqueline. It is just a really pretty... It's just a really pretty buttery kind of creamy yellow. It's gorgeous, very, very pigmented, and it looks super, super good on the lid, or you can blend it into the crease. There's a whole lot of things you can do with it, so I love this one. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this haul. I know I'm going like MAC crazy, but there's just so many products. I have this huge list of things that I want from MAC, but I'm trying not to buy anything until March. So I only have like, I know it's only like three weeks, but I want to not buy anything until at least March. Um, all these products can definitely hold me over till then, but you should see the list of, like my list is like, really like, I can't even fit in the screen how big it is. It is so big of products that I want to buy. And yeah, so I'm sure that I will do more MAC hauls in the future, but probably not until March at least because I need to just stop buying for a couple weeks and like take a breather. 
Um, but anyways, I hope that you guys enjoy. If you have any um, suggestions of things that I should buy from MAC, leave it down below. Let me know what your holy grail products are because I would love to check them out. If you have any questions or comments, like always, leave it down below. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll also have my Twitter link down below. You guys can follow me. I tweet a lot. Actually, not as often as I used to because I don't have an iPhone anymore. It broke. Long story short, I'll probably be getting it within the next couple of weeks. Um, I literally feel like I'm disconnected from the world without my iPhone. It is very, very tragic. Um, it's like first world problems, seriously. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. And Harley just wants to say bye, I think, because he keeps bugging me to throw his ball, but I think he actually wants to just say bye. So I will show you guys him and his horrible, ah, and his, hor no, it's not actually a horrible haircut, but he just got a haircut and he doesn't even look like my dog anymore. It's so sad. But this is what he looks like. This is him after his haircut. He got one on Monday and I just wish it would grow. I like it when it's nice and not super long, but longer than this. Um, but I think he likes his haircut. He doesn't seem too embarrassed. Are you embarrassed of your haircut? He like hates when I pick him up when I'm filming because he always has a ball. Like, oh my God, he's shaking my camera. In and around where I'm like filming. So he just doesn't want to be picked up. He just wants to play with his ball. Um, anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.